right. Time for my daily inspiration. the video. Are you tired of your arms not being beefy enough? Don't you wish your arms were the size and shape that you want? Don't you wish somebody would have the solution to this problem? I'm definitely not that somebody. But if you know any good exercise for the arms, please leave a comment below. Now, according to my extensive research of one article and a few YouTube videos, a feeder workout is an exercise where you would do a lot of reps per set. So if you're gonna do curls, you would do 100 reps per set. The benefits to a feeder workout is an extended protein synthesis, a better mind and body connection and sure of any weaknesses that you have. I'm no expert, but I'm gonna try some of these workouts and see what it does. So for this whole week, I'm gonna be doing an arm feeder workout. So that's three sets of 100 curls and three sets of 100 skull crushers. But before we start, I would appreciate if you hit that like and subscribe button, leave a comment below about a workout that we can try out. With that said, let's go ahead and change into something for an arm feeder workout. I think this will do. Okay, let's get started. That's the end of the first set. It's really hard, so I'm just gonna go a little bit lighter. I was doing 10 pounds for each arm, but I'm losing a little bit of form when I hit the 60 range. So I'm just gonna do five pounds for each arm, just so I can keep my form. But we'll see how it goes. I'm still, I'm feeling that really pump already, so I don't know if you can see it. But let's keep going. Day two of feet of workout. <laughs> Just finished the first set for the feeder workout. Still got two more sets of 100 for both the curls and the skull crushers. Uh, definitely feel that pump, feels really good actually, but definitely I'm getting that muscle soreness ever since yesterday. So we'll see how it goes. It's, I'm only doing five pounds and it hurts like hell. So let's just piece it through. All right, day three. All right, day four of the feeder workout. I just bought myself a measuring tape. I definitely wish I had this in the beginning so I could have seen how much it changed. I know in August I was at 16 inches for each arm, but I don't know if it shrunk since then and then it grew on this one. So don't really have an accurate data. Maybe I'll do another feeder exercise down the road and I'll do this properly. But let's go ahead and start measuring up. 16 and 16. is done let's go ahead and find out how big of a pump did I get I don't know if you could see this but it went from 16 to 16 and a half or maybe I'm probably just really bad at measuring looks like this is also 16 and a half so after each feeder workout it looks like it grows half an inch because of all the blood that's circulating and everything but we'll see how it goes towards the end of the week day five let's go how much size I gained throughout this whole week. So let's go ahead and check. As I mentioned earlier, I only bought the measuring tape on Wednesday. I wish I had it earlier this week, but what can you do? 
So I'm gonna go ahead and measure it right now. Try to do three measurements so we can get a good average out of the three. 16.75. 16.5. 16.5. I'm right handed by the way. So those are my measurements, but that's just immediately after my pump session. So what I'm gonna do is wait a couple hours and then re-measure it again to see how it is when it's finally relaxed and no blood flow. So let's see if there's any muscle growth from it. All right, so I just gained 0.5 inches in size on my arms with the arm feeder workout. And I'm pretty surprised and impressed. I definitely feel like it's probably new beginnings or I'm still feeling the pump, who knows what it is. But my overall thoughts on the exercise is that I don't really recommend it just because it's nice to have those DOMs, the delayed onset muscle soreness, whatever, and it feels really great, but I was having it for the whole week and it was actually impacting my other workout. So I wouldn't recommend it. I actually would like to implement this into like my finisher workouts or do it like the day after so I can at least still kind of like train it a little bit. But this feels more of a finisher workout. Also, I don't recommend doing this every day. Your muscle needs time to recover. So maybe adding a day or two days in between each session would be great. But again, also just having it as a finisher workout, I think that would be beneficial in my opinion. But that's it. Uh, go ahead and leave a comment of a workout that I could try. But other than that, thanks for watching.